Hello guys, welcome back to playing the Raggedy Boy, and today I am back on Attack of the Team. And I don't really have much planned for this episode. So it'll just be like a um, talking, talking, talk to talk, talk, talk episode. Oh no. Uh, did I actually have the keys for that with me? Oh yeah. Be quiet, spider. Um, so, oh, oh yes, uh, did I actually put this on camera? I started this huge, uh, thing over here with all these, oh, scary noises, all these ore bushes, ore berry bushes, so that maybe I could automate it, and I haven't gotten to automating it yet. But that is something I would like to do in maybe a later episode. And, uh, so you guys may notice I have not, sometimes I won't upload something. Uh, I keep running into other issues that cause me to not be able to do that. So, just bear with me. I will try my best to upload on scheduled days. And if I can't, well, I guess that's it. I can't, but... Uh... Jeez, they keep growing back. What the heck? Did I already pick up 64 of them? Wow. That was quick. Uh, get rid of the spider eye. Stop growing! Stop it! No! There's too many! Jeez. Wow, these do grow fast. Yeah, this could become a very, very efficient farm. And then it would smelt it all down into materials and... To ouch! 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 No! How do I get out? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yes, but it would smelt it down into materials, which I could then later use... For, you know, just... I don't know. It all depends on what I wanted to make, I guess. So, I guess we could start working on that. The one thing I don't get, though, is how the actual... Uh, what is it called? Here, let me go find it again. Oops. Oh, jeez. That could be an actual problem. Okay, well, that's not gonna help at all. Uh, let's just go here. Okay, so this right here is my essence berry farm. Uh, this... Where is it? Yeah. I had one of those auto harvester things that I can't remember the name of that was harvesting things from it. But it wasn't really doing its job too well. Don't know why it was and it just wasn't. Neither of these. I mean, they're full power... But the planter's not really planting anything, and this thing's not really cutting anything down. So I'm not sure what's going on here. If you guys know, please leave it in the comments. Okay. So yes, it's been harvesting essence berry. And uh, yeah, essence berries, which I can use to put into my XP liquid tank. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hi. Well, that was smart of you, Enderman just committed suicide yeah uh, so but I did want to get this automation thing set up but first of all I need to work out this issue because the farm right here how am I supposed to automate anything else if I can't get my farm to work I don't know why it's not working and then these things just seem to have always been in this stage of growing the entire time I mean, these are going to be here for forever, because the harvester is not even put back at the right area to take those out, but the problem is, I don't understand why why these aren't doing anything. There's no uh, sludge in them, because the sludge, the sludge is in here, and so I would think it should be harvesting things pretty much just fine right there. 
Yet, it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I'm confused on what it's doing. I don't even think it's doing anything. It's just sitting there. It's not taking up energy either because it has nothing to do. Yeah, I still have my... Okay. And... I mean, down here... How does this keep happening? Like, blocks just keep getting destroyed. That wasn't destroyed a second ago. Oh, it was that Enderman. No wonder. I had a big hole here before. Some people keep blowing up, keep coming over, and something blows up, and they just leave it there. But, I mean, that's not really the problem right now. The problem is, I don't understand why... I mean, this should be getting power, right? Yeah. The planter is on full range, so it should be planting way over here. And this thing should be going as well. So is it like priority? Like if I take that and then do this, is it prioritizing things? No, it doesn't look like it. So I'm very confused on what the heck it's doing. I mean, it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing at all. So that'll be something. I'll probably figure that out on camera or off camera. I meant what I want to do, I think, is because I've got nothing else I can think of to do. I'll probably just go on a server tour, see if we can actually find everyone's place because I haven't been everywhere. So, uh, why don't we start here? This is no one lives here anymore. This is. Matt AK slash his old marsh base that he used to live on. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to him, you probably want to go do that after you finish watching this video. So yeah, this is the uh, marsh, and then his place is right here. And he uses this to launch sometimes. It's a lot of power in that thing. So this is his launching area. What is that? A portal. Okay. I don't understand why that's there. Maybe someone went through the nether and it just... That's where it appeared, but... So, th this is just his old... This is just his old marsh base. He doesn't go here anymore. So... Oh, here we go. This is much simpler. So, I can just go back to the marsh base to find people's bases. So, this is Sylvian. Okay. Uh... Go away, music. Wow, this place actually looks... I like this. So this is Selv Sylvian's place. And he's got a nice ceiling. It's all made of, like, nether brick. And some ash. And the red lamps. Which is really cool. I like this. So this is basically what it's turning out to be. And he's inside a volcano. And then it looks like he has... A mob spawner up here where he can just spawn them in and then kill them. Dark wood trap door. Okay, well this just leads in here. Well, that's cool. And I think he has kind of an automated uh, smeltery here as well. Okay. I don't know why they all... He has a space base, he has another... Okay, let's head back here. And dial his base again. Okay. Dial. There we go. Then... From end. I didn't... I forgot about the end. Uh, we already know what my place looks like, so we don't really have to go there. Let's go to JR Beers. Jump. Yeah. Uh, so I know Matic A slash did a uh, tour of the server, but I'm just doing this now in case none of you watch him. So you can just get a look at what the server is like. So it looks like he doesn't have solar power hooked up yet, JR Beers. 
Yes, weapons box from Flans Mod. I don't believe this is actually his house. Somewhere around here, there's an fly. Fly up here. I'm going to uh, take this out and replace it. Oh, this is cool. He's got a little regeneration water pool. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, look at his little hat. It's a head crab. He looks like he got hurt. And he has each of one of the berries. Except for uh, raspberries, I think. Okay, so he has a statue of pretty much everyone on the server. So here's Raggedy Girl. Here's Mad AK Slash. Here's me. Here's Gnarly717. This is Sylvian Blood. Ah, I'm stuck. Uh, this is RP Beers. And this is JR Beers. And then they've got a nice little house right here and it's inspired by Greco Roman house inspired by Pompeii that's cool I like this oh no doors not nice let me through no let me through okay so we got a chest system set up some XP here there you go take some XP and two beds for RP beers and JR beers. So that's cool. Uh, there are a couple people on the server where nobody knows where the heck they live. So we won't be able to find them. But other than that, we should be able to find pretty much everyone else. Okay, I believe if I did like right here. No. No, not there. If I did. No, can't do it there. Where did I come in through? Was it here? Yeah. Okay, so we replace that, and now we're back to the portal. And I think there's one more place I can show you guys. The Space Ghost. Don't know what that is. I don't want to go there in case there's no oxygen there. Oh, K Hater. Yeah, I mixed K Hanley and. Mater 27's name together to make K Hater. Uh, so now this is their base, and they've moved like 16 million times. Wow. There's a lot of stuff on the ground. Some smoke coming up through the ground. Ash. More ash. I don't want this. And then they kind of go into a magic -y biome. I'm not sure what their plans are for this place, but it looks like it's going to be cool. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, they have some more stuff over there, but I'm going to jump through the portal before it closes. Uh, last place we're going to go is... Maddie slashes Moon... Uh, nope. This is the wrong one. I should have remembered what one it was. That was the Mars. This is his. Terminate. Dial. Jump. Okay. Uh, oxygen setup is invalid. That doesn't matter. Oh. No, no, it's fine now. Okay. So, he has an essence berry thing over there. And he has... An igneous extruder, which it puts water in, and he has the... I think this is getting power. No? Hmm. I don't know where he's getting his lava from. I have something that makes the lava. Is you Are you not supposed to hear any sounds in here? This doesn't seem right. The airlock should be opening. Uh, this airlock opens. There's nothing really back here. It's just a glass dome. I, for I don't know if he's doing anything with that or not. Uh, oh, here's the TARDIS we did. 
Gnarly717, JR Beers, and I. Uh, I think I've shown you what it looks like on the inside. Oh, jeez. Uh, so this is his smelter, smelter, la, la, la. smelterly, smelterly. Yep, that's also a word. Smeltery. Um. So yeah, he does. I I don't know how often he uses that either, but I think the most time he spent in any place so far in his space base is his witchery room. Right here, it has you know all the witchery trees, which should help the altar. Because, yeah, it increases the power a little bit. Then he has his materials here. And some glowstone torches. And, of course, the essence berry bushes. Uh, and he does have a beacon set up, which gives you haste to strength to jump boost. I don't know why you'd want jump boost in space, but... And regeneration. I'm not sure if speed or resistance are part of that. I think that's just part of my usual uh, genetic thing that I messed with. And this is his mob spawner area. And I think it's a tree farm up there or something. Which harvests trees for him. And I think I've seen all the people's places... So, let's head home, uh, first, oh, and by the way, slash, I put this here to show Kay Hanley where the elevator was. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here anyways. Doomp. There's his beacon. With his Enderium that... Oh, and we're gone. Uh, he used the Enderium. I don't know why he used Enderium. I don't think it's that expensive, but... Kaploosh. Kaploosh. And home is way over here, but that doesn't matter. So let's just shift, right-click. Uh, of course. Shift, right-click. There we go. And we're home. So... Uh, one last place is Gnarly Someone's Sevens. And this is what he's done with it. And he was gonna put a portal here, I think. And, yes, yeah, since we here, since, since we are here, we can go check the TARDIS out. Because I'm not sure if I actually showed you guys that. These used to be, these used to look like Weeping Angels. Because J.R. Beers changed his skin to look like Weeping Angels so that it was part of the prank. So we used Kurt J. Max skin right here to look like the 10th Doctor, I think. And I put a screwdriver in the ice and covered him with micro blocks. Micro block ice. Uh, this right here was not fun to do. Put all these tiny little corners up here. This is pretty detailed here and these are Liquid blue slime, which you get from those floating slime islands. And I don't know why there's a piece of wood here. Hmm. And I'm not sure. This is kind of hard to explain right here, but if you've ever seen Doctor Who, you know what the TARDIS looks like. We tried to get those things in there that were kind of like pillars. And I think it turned out pretty good, so... And then we had... We have trapped your Doctor in time. There's nothing you can do. We are the new Time Lords, and then... Gnarly, JR Beers, and me. So, uh, I was about to go through there. I don't want to go through there because that'll bring me back to the TARDIS in space. So, I think that's about it, guys. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment. And, I will see you guys next time.